Got four plugs over here for all this. I'm gonna blend some watermelon ice. Ah, disgusting. I'm gonna test the power inside. There's four outlets in the front, 120 volts, around 20 amp each. So I can run four blenders right now. Let's plug it in. There's the outlets right here. I'm gonna try one of them. And if you see a little cut here, that means it's a 20 amper. If you don't see that, that means 15. So right here we got, we can actually charge your phone at the same time. So I'm gonna give it a try right now. Right here, my blender, and let's get right into it. First thing I wanna turn on the car right now, and it has to be on at all times. All right. We're gonna start the blender, guys. This is turning into like a cooking channel. <laughs> I need some more water. Watermelon ice coming right up. I'm drink it out of this. Okay, so we got one hooked up right now. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna blow the hair dryer as well at the same time. Here's my hair dryer, the one I did a review on. Make sure you check this out. I'm gonna turn both of them on right now. This is gonna draw probably around 1500 watts and this one is probably another 1000 watts. Right here I have up to 2400 watts of power in the front, power on board, and I can have the back ones on at the same time, but maximum total between the two could be 2,400 watts. That's the maximum you can have. So this one is on right now, guys. The blend is on, and so is this. Both is working fine. Now, inside the car, it shows you how much power you're drawing. So I'm gonna take a peek inside. I'll leave my grinder on and my drill at the same time and go inside, see how much power it's drawing. Okay, here's the grinder, here's the drill. I'm gonna have everything on at the same time. So that grinder right there is probably gonna draw around 600 watts. This one is probably gonna be around the same, maybe more, maybe the grinder will be around 1,000, that one's 600. And then we got 1,500 watts over here and I got another 1,000. All together you're looking at 2,000, almost 2,500 watts. So let's get these things on and let's see how much power they draw. So to turn on to see how much power you're using real time, right now I'm using climate control 100% because the car is in park and I'm using my climate control. So it's telling me that as soon as you start riding, it'll change, it'll shift. And we want to turn on and see how much pro power on board usage. Now, I'm going to go turn on the grinder, turn on everything else and let's see how much power it draws. This is the blow dryer on. Now the blender and the grinder and the drill. All four is turned on and we got three things on the grinder, blender and the hair dryer and we're still not at 2.4 thousand watts yet. So man, this thing can handle a lot guys. You can see that it's just coming barely on um, close to the 2,400 watts. We still got a lot, of, a lot more juice to burn until we reach around there. So I, I think you can have at least uh, six or seven blenders on at the same time and this thing will reach 2,400. It's still a lot to go there. All right, so that wraps up this little test with Pro Powered Onboard. And honestly, I was kind of expecting it to trip or give me warnings or something, but it didn't. It just handled it quietly without any issues. Max is out at 2.4 kilowatts, but still I was way below that. This is the kind of setup that could power job site. Like a serious power over here, a food stall, a campsite, whatever you're doing out uh, of the back of your truck, or if you're in the outdoors, you know you got some power here, you know you're safe. I'm not saying it replaces a full generator for heavy duty stuff, but for everyday gear, light tools, appliances, it holds its own weight. And that's a huge win for real world usability. So guys, let me know if you want me to push it even further. Maybe test it with a microwave, a mini air conditioner, or like run the continuously for a few hours just to see what happens. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. If this kind of real world, no fluffs testing is useful to you, feel free to like, 
drop a comment or hit that subscribe button. This is Built for Tech and I'll catch you in the next one.